What's happening, Trojan Nation? Coach Canelli here with another episode of my key series. Today, our series is going to focus in on getting out of your comfort zone and trying new things. I'm also going to show a visual, which I got off uh, another YouTuber I watch. Helps me with my mental stuff. And it really it made an impact on me and got me to start trying some new things almost instantaneously. And I'm hoping it has the same effect for some of you kids. So I'm going to draw right now. I got a little circle that says me, or actually it could be, let's say you, you or me. Now we're just a, you know, a little happy little circle, nothing too wild yet living our normal life. And this is our comfort zone right here. That's where we're happy. Nothing's, you know, out of place. We're doing well. That is our comfort zone right here in this bubble. All of a sudden, we have that arrow. That arrow is adversity or a problem. I'm going to call it add P. So that adversity or a problem now is attacking our circle. I have two choices. I can let it into my circle, which will make my circle a little bit smaller, and it could take away some things from me, and it's going to disrupt my comfort zone. Or I could choose to battle back at this adversity, get out of my comfort zone, and then I experience something new. And now I turn into a little bit bigger of a, um, of a person. So once I'm out of that comfort zone, you see that I've been able to expand my own um, participation and where I'm at inside there, I, my circle's gotten bigger. So adversity is going to hit again, and same thing. You could let it in, or you could go away, or you could go away from it. I'm going to choose to attack it. And if you see, if you attack over and over and over and over and over. Adversity don't stop. You will see your growth as a human being. So each thing you do to get you out of your comfort zone with adversity is going to help you out to grow you as a human being. Now... Would you like to be this person right here who's stuck in your comfort zone, happy? Or would you like to be this person who has such a bigger reach and has gotten through all these types of problems and they went at it and then they made themselves bigger and better? Think about it mentally, stronger, physically, stronger. Do you want to be the little person in your comfort zone or do you want to have a big circle? I'd say in my life I'm probably about here. I still got more work to do to engage my circle, but yes, just yesterday I was out getting out of my comfort zone and expanding my circle to get the growth. So the moral of this tale is nothing um, worth having is going to come easy and nothing that you're going to like is going to happen in your comfort zone. Too. So in order to experience your growth, you're going to have to make mistakes and once problems hit, you have to get out of your comfort zone to take on those problems and then you figure it out from there. That's where the growth and the learning happens. So I'd like to challenge you to get out of your comfort zone. Let's do one thing this week and let's get 1% better. Thank you for watching and always peace and much love to you.